Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Le Bread Mask and his Orcs and Chicken Fish and his Lizard Men. With me in the booth is Purple Chest. Hello! Hello Jim. In truth, I've nowhere else to be, so happy to be here. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you very much. Very, very nice of you to be here as always. Um, very much appreciated. Fantastic as always in the booth to have you here. Yeah, Chickenfish has got a very nice team, hasn't he? Very nice lizard man team. Very, very nice. Um, a, a race he is very familiar with, I think it's fair to say. Yes. Um, and the key reason why uh, I also, uh, in the predicting competition that we both, uh, it's just a bit of fun, but I've uh, also plumped for the lizards here, uh, despite, again, really liking this, uh, this orc build. But orcs, no matter how good they are, just always seem to come up a little bit short in uh, in competitions don't they yeah well i mean in particularly the orc team isn't really a team is it it's just two blitzers <laughs> and uh, he's got a dirty player which could do some work and obviously his strength four block tackle mighty blow is a great player and the move at eight eight with tackle mighty blow is a great player so he has got two really great players and look, one of them is like stood in the source as we speak but yep. The rest of the team is not going to hold up to the rest of the Zaman team, is it? That's the thing. He's got not a really, no. Around the edges, snipe around the edges, and some, you know, trying to get something going that isn't just a, a, a straight up bang fest. I mean, when you do see orcs do extremely well, it's usually based on some very, very solid black orcs, and the black orcs here are um, underwhelming. I think is probably the the right place to put that. Uh, we've yeah. got one absolute rookie, two just with block, and a, a nice block guard, but even then, you know, lacking hitting power, lacking the sort of guard wall you'd like to see across the ones with just block. I've got to say, you know, I, th I think Le Bread Mask has made a bit of a balls up here, in my opinion. Oh, I, look, I look a bit wrong now. Having such a deep bench, right? He's got a babe here. He could have had 12 players and had a wizard. Um, that would have been the way I'd wanted to go, um, but he does have that move eight, which means he he can respond to a a sudden skink, you know, a potato or, or push through. But the, the lizards are so fast across the team, really nicely developed sauruses, bar you know one. Um, and that's the one he hung out to dry, and that's the one the orcs went for. Yeah. It, it's possibly the least relevant piece on the lizard team, and, and that includes the skinks. Yeah. And like you know, or he could have just sacked one and had a bribe. This is only an eleven man. The, the weakness of this really good lizard man team is it's only eleven. Glorious. Man. Yes. No, I won't. And as always, if you can get a Saurus out victorious. or even the Crocs, and I will be there. Usually, there's very little I to come in, and it's a rookie skink. Here, there is nothing to come. Chugga, in. chugga, chugga, choo choo. <laughs> but then, if I recall this chalice correctly, the skinks did get radically trimmed in uh, prior games. Yeah, that makes sense, and I'm pretty sure they did lost a Saurus as well. Because I think so. So yeah, he's getting the foul of the dirty player. You know, he's got that dirty player, and he's only got 11 men, so maybe he's, maybe he's yeah, sucking, sucking at least one lineman. But anyway, um, thank you very much for Gnomics. Staying fantastic for four months. Who will be the pregnancy? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um... Chugger, chugger, uh, chugger, chugger, the two up, chugger, chugger, choo I choo. think the Black Orcs are, are useful, but just not quite relevant enough to be Glorious. central to how these no, Orcs are to get it done. In. He's a rookie player. Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. So, I will yeah. defend. Yeah, he doesn't have all that either. So now he's looking a genius that he's got this massive deep bench because he's taken two cars in, <laughs> in three turns. <laughs> wow. Absolutely brutal. Bleeding hippie, glorious, 35 months, nearly three years. Unbelievable. Uh, what's that, eight, nearly nine? Who will be the pregnancies? Glorious. Thank you very much, hippie. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Okay, so it was the block MB tackle that died, right? Yeah, I thought it was a Saurus, yeah. Yeah, I did know there'd been some trimming. Okay, it was a Saurus. And hence that rookie Saurus, which has uh, disappeared already. <laughs> yep. And 
Again, thank you very much. Our oh, Tony plays poorly, giving out a, a tier one sub to Fighting Mongoose. Thank you very much, Tony. Glorious. Chew freak and chew. Fuck off, Jimmy. <laughs> chew freak and chew. Thank you very much. Martin scores easy for the 50 bits. Glorious. We are all on the hype train. Hype, yeah. hype, and indeed, hype. <laughs> Thanks to EAB for that as well. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I've got to stop doing these commentaries. I've yet to hear that sound. Right? I shall have to watch the bot back specifically for two it. To three to humans. <laughs> you will have to. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you, Rick. For the bits. Yeah, that was true, wasn't it? The human. <laughs> <laughs> Humans did do well against the machine, uh, with funnily enough a little bit of uh, a little bit of technological help though to give him that strength for the uh, <laughs> for the uh, crucifix power bombs. Glorious. I said at the time, <laughs> Rick, the hero we want and the hero we need. If not, maybe the hero we deserve. <laughs> Glorious. Like the blitz there to get that. To get that uh, Saurus further forward. Yep. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, already he's so on top of the numbers. Uh, he doesn't need to uh, to worry too much about hurting orcs now. It's all about positional dominance. <laughs> you say that. Wow. <laughs> it's another yeah. one. Uh, on a 1D. <laughs> I mean, this is outrageous, isn't it? There's not, there's not a lot of banging on the team. There's just literally uh, there's a mighty blow on the Crocs and mighty blow on the Saurus, isn't there? Yep. Well, as, as we heard, you know, the big killer went down. Yeah. The orcs literally have more money to go up here. Oh, and if you roll nice dice, dice, it's not needed. Right, so we are starting to chip some numbers on the lizards, which I'm not sure it's going to impact on this drive. In fact, we're, we're not trying to defend at all, are we? But it, no. it's it's about the, uh, the equity shift for later in the game. Yeah, very good. Um, and yeah, that's it. You know, he's, he does have these mighty blow tacklers. Movement eight. He's going to be able to get to a skinks uh, very easily. Yes, and, it, it, the lizards are still going to have to defend, no matter almost wherever that piece is on the pitch. <laughs> Sorry, Kinra. <laughs> Talk equity team. So yeah, this is this is a this is a real problem, isn't it? This move up, this move up tackler, double move. However, with the numbers advantage and just the, the raw pace in every lizard on this pitch, um, there are solutions to problems. But as we're seeing, he's having to screen very very deep, just cutting off those diagonals between where that blitzer is and where it's going to want to get to. Grab would have been huge if he hadn't just removed him there because he could have grabbed him away yeah. um, to here and still got this 2D. So that was a. It could have been a nice use of grab, but as it was, it's obviously better to just KO people. <laughs> yeah, much, much better. If, if they're not on the pitch, it doesn't matter quite so much which square they're not in. Yeah, I'm not sure I like running around there to keep the uh, troll occupied. Like, I think I would have much preferred. I'm not sure I see the point, and if we lose another skink, that's really going to hurt us. But the bread mask saw the point because he decided to commit a blitz to it rather than a three days night ball. Yeah, I. Mm. <laughs> not what I'd have done, Jim. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind hitting the skinks. Like I said, I've read Facebook. It says that's how you beat lizards. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't wanted to hit it with one of my hitty pieces. I, mean, you I suppose on the plus side, it got the troll back uh, more relevant to where the action's taking place. Also brought that blitz a little bit more back into the game. Yeah. Perhaps we'll call that a positional blitz. Um, but with the lizards just removing pieces at will, um, I, I'm not sure trying to defend this drive is where I would be as the Orcs right now. Yeah, agreed. I'd be, I'd be taking the mighty blow hit on the skink and just trying to... Yeah. If I can kill another skink and get them down to a maximum of nine, that's that's looking good for the second half for me. Yep. Before the break tackle to occupy that uh, move eight. It's pretty much all he can do, isn't it? It's just basing with a basing with a, a saurus over and over again. Yep. Yeah, I mean he he just doesn't have the numbers to go around fouling it or things like that. That was a spicy little reroll. 
could have taken the one in nine there. Uh, perhaps didn't want him leaving a two die on the skink with the black orc. Yeah, I guess that was it. Flit! Uh, so he moves him there to assist and uh, still doesn't activate the troll. And that leaves him only uh, only one reroll for the last two turns. Not that you think there's an urgent need for them, but it's it's a tiny bit spicy. Mm. Could be relevant. And yeah, he's going to have to start with the open the dodges, which is never what you want, is it? And he's failed. No. Surprised he didn't die, though, given the, <laughs> given the amount yeah, of removal. Absolutely. <laughs> An orc went down and stayed on the pitch, Jim. I didn't know that could happen. Yeah, unbelievable. Armour 9, who knew? So now he can make this pretty safe, can't he? I think he does need to, you know, think about where these uh, skinks are still, though. A coma level of reward spice. <laughs> Oh, there's, I hadn't seen that. The new uh, extra arms bot also joining in. But it's not what extra arms bot would have done. The extra <laughs> arms bot did not say if it was right or wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great, isn't it? And if extra arms can't, then who are we to disagree? Exactly. Not blitzing with his mighty blow tackler, but of course he would have needed a dodge, and he doesn't want to stick in those dodges. No. Fair enough. Just a stun on that loner, that's... Uh, Stops moving afterwards as well, maybe he could have gone somewhere, tried something. I Certainly I'd have uh, been basing the other skink, mm. as well as the one I'd just knocked over. Yep, but there you go, he fails that dodge. Yep. And he's keeping his reroll for one turn. Well, I mean, with the move 8 piece, the one turn is definitely on the table. Yeah. The lizards just laying waste to everything around them. Wow, that's that's pretty huge, yeah, Orylance. That is a simul. It's time for a simul dancing. <laughs> he does not have a goblin, no, despite having 14 players. Um, he does not have a goblin. Yeah. If I had a 14 man all squad, at least one would be, an, would be a goblin. And not just for the TTM, there are other games where you know, handing off to a goblin, it's much likelier to break an elf wall line successfully than any orc I know. Mm. Not even a bloody goblin. But yeah, the three, the three reserves looking, looking inspired right now. Wise. <laughs> Obviously, with only eleven, with only ten players and eleven on the roster, ten on the field, there is a there is a gap. Only one tackles on the So that makes Fuck it a little off, bit hard. He's got the quick snap. Um, oh, he saved his reroll, then he hasn't gone for the one turn. Well, that I really don't understand. No, that's very weird. Um, but that's also maybe because there are three stand firm lizards on the pitch. That, that I understand. <laughs> uh, making even with move 8 a one turn quite tricky, Jim. Yep, yep. Well, he shouldn't have saved the reroll last turn then, should he? Uh, uh, no. He should have known. Well, he was playing the in game. case of Riot, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, okay. He was playing the game. He should have known there was three stun firm. I don't give a shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think people are mistaking us here for trying to do sort of informed, accurate commentary when basically we just want to laugh and stuff, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Make the odd innuendo as we go. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what's shit and wrong, um, other channels can make that available for you. <laughs> yep. Well, there you go. I think it's hilarious that with 14 players, he still doesn't have a Mr. Throw as well. <laughs> yes, well, I mean, I, I, I've often not used a Mr. Throw. Um, or I often start a team with one and then try and cycle him out as soon as I have a better ball carrier. But, I mean, a Goblin is a great little 40k that you can have that 
gets move six, it means one of your blitzes doesn't have to carry. Uh, if you're not fearing anyone leaping in, it's, it's you know it's almost a blodge piece because without tackle, they're hard to knock over. And like I said, it's, it's pretty good at breaking lines if it really needs to. Hmm. It's just that his I, I, team name is It's All About Mr. Throw. <laughs> and he still yes. doesn't have a Mr. Throw. <laughs> yes, I think that may be irony. Yes. But I wouldn't have minded one. If you're going to go to 14, I, again, I don't mind it. I don't mind a, a goblin for the, for the, yeah, as you say, all the reasons. And even a Mr. Throw, right, if you're going for a quick score, having the show hands in the past to facilitate some kind of, you know, more likely, more reliable passing play, it's, it's absolutely fine, isn't it? If you... Yeah, I, d I mean, I don't hate Mr. Throws to the level that some do, despite uh, having this particular remote. I I, I'm not sure it is available in my standard ones. I forget where I've put it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah I, as I said I think if I didn't have a Mr. Throw I would find the space for a Goblin for sure uh, because without both your your short drive options are very very limited yeah. and if you're going to 14 then there's a good argument that two of them should be a Throw and a Goblin yeah. um, exactly for those short drives or but the very you know unlikely Throw teammate option but it just gives you choices and things that the other team has to worry about that you don't have without them. Yeah. And uh, he's, this is unequivocally a bad mistake, though, isn't it? He has benched his dirty player in the second, the second half against an 11 man team, you know, with uh, well, really, really yeah. good players. I'm sure he might want to throw in a foul. Yep, yeah, 10 man now. And, and if we can chip one of these Sauruses, um, that would be a huge swing. Uh, in momentum. For sure. Call Farage. <laughs> the new meta is to start with two throws. No. No, no. no. Yes, it, it's incredibly amusing that they've made Mr. Throw worse in the new rule set. Um, just wow is the only thing I've ever managed to respond to that. <laughs> Chicken fish coming in here with the heavy basing. Those sores right in the face of the orcs. But, you know, not, not that heavy. He left two players not in base contact. Herp derp. Presumably base, to defend base, the skinks. This won't fail. And I'm on the There's a 1 in 9 from the troll. troll. And the Lorna fail, so a 1 in 18 fail from the troll. You've got to think if you the bread mask, maybe that's a bit of a fuck up. If you're gonna if you're gonna stick a loner reroll in, maybe you should be making that work. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe a bit of a fuck up there, but who can say? Who can say if it was right or wrong? I think if you go for a troll hit there, you accept the one in nine, um, and you make sure you're in a position where it doesn't ruin you. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That there's desperate situations where you have to go for a big guy hit and you have to go yep. for the reroll. I don't yep. think that was a situation where he had to, so he should have oh. played around it. And as it's almost certain that his plan here is drive home over eight, see if we can get some skinks or even possibly a Saurus removed, and be in a good position for overtime. Um, throwing a reroll away there feels sort of triply bad. Yep, and also he's lost the ball. That's why he had to. <laughs> Do you know? What? <laughs> I yep. think Le Bread Mask said in the predictions, I'll, I'll, I'll defend the ball this time. <laughs> I'll defend the pickup this time. And he didn't again. He started with the ball and he still exposed it. Oh dear, oh dear. It's magical thinking, isn't it? That everything will always go right. Mm. As I think we've said on other casts, in Blood Bowl that's just not going to happen. Well, there was a follow-up into a dodge. He's maybe he's tilting a bit here. I quite like going for the pickup with the uh, with a strength four at this point because yep. it's going to be hard to keep to keep your shit together. So, um, oh, you know, yeah, okay, he wants to do the extra moving, okay. Um, it's going to be hard to keep your shit together and stop, you know, not give up a hit. And obviously, if you've got the ball on a strength four, it's only a 1D from a source. 
course, you know, getting an assist from a skink is, is very, very easy to do, but yeah, it, it does make it, yeah, it does mean that this, you know, a pack of skinks can't come for the ball. It does have to be a Saurus, and it does need an assist as well. Hmm. And that, that one assist that he's got in is, is there for a, a skink that he's not making a recovery or whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Makes it a little bit harder, doesn't it? But I think you're right, Jim. I think if he hadn't followed up on the, the blitz with the strength four, it was just two two pluses rather than a three plus two plus yeah. to secure the ball. Uh, yeah, I think so. So I think that was a tiny bit of tilt, maybe. But Could be I mean, fun. considering the position he was in, or did he have to use to both go for it to after the dodge? That would have understood. He why did he use two. Yeah, he did. Oh, use okay. Two. So that was fine. Yeah, fair enough. That was the right thing. It was completely right, and he's managed to get this pack of skinks in with the guard. Nice. And he's got the ball, and he's away. I'm feeling there's a, a fat lady warming up her throat. Yeah. I mean, having said that, I didn't hate the position, given how he started that turn that the bread mask got it into in the end, but it, um, it still wasn't quite enough. Well, yeah, he's not. The ball is not defended whatsoever, is it? He's got the instant move it to two D on. Um, but you know, I mean, he, he could, there was no way he could defend it there, was there? It's not a knock on chicken fish there. But there, was, there was really no way to defend it. Nope. Um, so what he's done is centralise it and put it on a blodge side stepper, so that almost wherever it goes. Um, the skinks should be able to get around it next turn. Yeah, it does go down. Side. Oh, he's not sized up. Okay, well, he's, he's fucking dead. <laughs> nope, probably hurt. But... And he uses the apple on it. Is there a reason you can think of that he didn't sidestep back towards the other skink? No, that's where I would have gone. That's where I would have gone. Um... Oh. Is a GFI fail. Oof, well, I mean, this is looking very messy for the Red Mask. Even he's out of rerolls. Even if he does stabilise, it's you know he's under he's under the cosh, isn't he? Yes. Um, and that even if is a big if in that sentence. How does one stabilise this? Yeah, he's, he's he's got the numbers advantage now, hasn't he? Certainly. Oh God, there's a double skull. That come in the Crocs first action. Yes. But this is a relevant block, completely relevant block. You hate to see it, don't you? So yeah, the break tackle gets to this in. Yeah, so he's outnumbering him here now, isn't he? This is like yeah. five, six orcs and four. Now there's four. There's well, really importantly, it's so deep in your own half that not only do you have to stabilize it, but you have to get that ball forwards reasonably yeah. quickly. Yeah. That's a. Orcs are much slower than people think. Although, of course, there is a move eight orc who is much quicker than I think. Yes, and there is another Kaz there, a skink fail. So now we've got two Kaz skinks and an apple skink. I think just like just like and Chicken Fisher's last game, every time a skink has been gone to the ground, he's been cast. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's failed to pick up. No re rolls. Oh. <laughs> Very lucky it's that side. I mean, the other side right under the other skink, and that was going. Uh, as it is, I kind of think Chicken Fish just has to pull that remaining skink back, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and I just concentrate I on stopping and not necessarily turning over. Yeah, that's a good shout. He's got to worry about this move eight, hasn't he? The move eight is the is the, is the yeah. key one because it's just so fast. I mean, there is a skink on the bench, so even if that the, the final skink on the field dies, there is still one for overtime. But yeah, I guess that's why he appled it, maybe right in case he lost the the yeah. other two. Yeah, he doesn't want to have to apple one of these two shit skinks. So by appling the good skink, at least he's guaranteed one. Here, so that's probably, probably a good apple. So with the crocs and the saurus on the ball, I, I think this is this is just about you know, delaying, isn't it? Yeah, and the stand firm. And sure enough, can't get yeah, the skink's can't running away. I think that's that's good. Yep, I agree. In a position where it can still be relevant if it needs to be, you know, nice and centralised. It is still blodge sidestep. It's it's a reasonable skink. Yep. 
but it doesn't need to be doing anything super aggressive. He doesn't need to be too. What he doesn't need to win two nil. One nil is just as good a victory. Yep. Yeah, this is looking real, real rough. <laughs> Le plim plom push. Go for the five plus pickup, might as well. Like, okay, it's probably not going to work, but you haven't got that many chances to pick it up anymore. You haven't no, got any rerolls, no, you, so you you've go got to take the chance and just hope to get lucky. Yeah. But this is. Uh, I mean, because of the incredible pace of that orc, he's not quite lost yet. But he sort of has. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't technically lost yet. <laughs> I quite like not activating the crops at all here, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking exactly the same. It's, you know, it's, it's a stand firm piece. It stood with the ball in its tackle zone, the last thing you needed there was anything to go stupid. And even then it was probably all fine, but I felt it was stronger not to. Yeah. No, I don't think the game was over on turn 3 at all, J5. I think the chance of the bread mass stopping the drive were, were over on turn 3, but yeah. certainly for the rest of the game, the, this lineman Kaz and Black Hawk Kaz is not critical whatsoever. The game was lost when the bread mass, like his previous round, completely failed to defend the ball whatsoever. <laughs> and then took a seemingly not particularly interesting or vital block with that troll. Yep. Without making sure that the fail state was okay. Yeah. And it wasn't. I mean, if you look at the the sheer numbers, you know, he it's sort of in the place where, had he stabilised his drive, the orcs would be looking at, at, at a good outcome. Yep. The apothecary's gone. Two of the skinks are off. The lizards are maxing at nine. Um, if he could have got to overtime, that wouldn't be a bad place to be. <laughs> but <laughs> Saurus does the ball pick up, because why not? Classic Saurus. Well, I mean, again, I'm not. there was a, a decent fail state there. It was yeah. very hard to see that, even if it didn't pick it up, that there was anything the Hawks were going to be able to do. So. Absolutely, yeah. Though, again, the Crocs now... Uh, not being active does give the orcs some options, but not great ones. Yeah, but again, that was the thing. Right? Gets his one die power though. This, if, if there is an answer, that was the start of it. Yeah, that was the oh. end of it. <laughs> but that was the end. Of it. Yeah, that's we're done now. Wow. There's two ways you can look at the uh, the outcome that will be of this game. The first is that, um, and I would agree, that the bread mask has had some poor dice at times. Uh, and I think chicken fish probably slightly the better dice. But I I think that's ignoring the fact that the bread mask has taken some worse decisions as well. Yeah, that was pretty shit. <laughs> Blocking his path, he could have just hit him from an angle and oh, changed, yeah. and then scored. Yeah, I... Denied himself to a tutty there. Yeah. I guess if he wants to you know, dodge through and then hand off to him. Or pass to him. Oh, okay, so it's about trying to score on the uh, on the right elf, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Which didn't seem very likely, but I mean it's worth a go. There was there was very little cost to train there. Yeah. yeah, and I guess there's very little payoff if he scores on the 35 SPP one, unless he like got gets another like another touchdown and like five, uh, what, ten cars, no five cars, ten, yeah, five cars and a touchdown. He'd need to skill up that. Oh, or two MVPs. So like, it was really unlikely to skill up the 30 yeah. odd SPP one again. So I'd have still just banged it in with him though, just for the just for the crack. But I guess yeah, I guess yeah, going for crazy dice to score on the rookie is probably better. It probably is. I mean, it, it's a long shot, but a long shot with a really positive upside and no real downside. And as you said, scoring on the piece that had it just didn't seem that relevant to think to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, well that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was the troll block indeed, Bazzi. Yeah, that was just not something to have. That was not the play, was it? That 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 troll block and the, and the lack of protection before it, like that combination of, of not protecting the ball and. Make if you think that's something you need to do, then you need to absolutely make sure your fail state is fine, that the ball is somewhere absolutely fine if it goes wrong. 
or you need a plan where you don't need to do that. Yep. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so there you go. Congratulations, Chickenfish. Commiserations, the bread mask. Thank you, as always, Purple Chest. Absolutely glorious to have you here. And uh, don't forget to like, leave, leave a like and subscribe, everyone, and stay fantastic.